So how should you try to increase your iron levels if you have restless legs syndrome? Well, the first way you wanna increase your levels is naturally, which is through your diet. And it really will depend on your personal preferences and limitations in terms of what you can and can't eat. But by far the best source of iron in the diet comes from liver. Not many people are eating liver these days, but then your red meat, which is a, an animal form of iron or heme iron is the best absorbed by the body. So your buffalo, bison, beef, lamb, those are the next best source of iron. And then your darker meats like pork and chicken, uh, those can provide excellent sources of iron. Aside from animal iron, plant iron, which comes in the form of things like spinach, which Popeye used to eat all the time, or uh, tofu, lentils, fish, eggs, those all tend to have uh, high sources of iron. If you've already gotten beyond improvements to your diet, the next step is for oral supplementation with, uh, with iron. If your ferritin level is less than 50, I would recommend a full dose of supplement around 50 milligrams of elemental iron. There are many different forms of iron supplements, but targeting about 50 milligrams would be good for a ferritin of less than 50 or a transferrin saturation of less than 25%. Now, if your ferritin is in that middle zone of around 50 to 75 nanograms per milliliter, you may benefit from a low dose iron supplement. You don't want to take too much iron because the higher your iron levels, the more that the iron supplement could cause what is called feedback inhibition, where if you take in the iron and it's too much, your body will just stop absorbing iron. It's sort of like going to a nightclub and there's a lot of people there, it's a good nightclub, but if too many people go to the nightclub, the police shut it down and now you don't even have a nightclub anymore. That's sort of the way it is with oral supplementation. You take too much oral iron, you'll just stop absorbing iron altogether. Don't wanna do that. So for people with a ferritin of about 50 to 75 milligrams, you wanna take maybe about 15 to maybe 25 milligrams of elemental iron per day, or maybe even that amount every other day. One of the telltale signs that you're not absorbing the iron is developing the more common side effect of constipation. If that metal bowling ball is going down your bowels and it's getting stuck in there and it's not getting absorbed into your body, that's a sign that your body's not absorbing it. People with restless leg syndrome often benefit from ferritin levels of higher than 75, but often it, you require an IV iron infusion to get higher than that because the point at which your body of stops absorbing iron might be lower than what your brain wants in terms of getting that iron into the brain uh, from your blood. And that's the real challenge for restless legs syndrome. So as always, uh, this video is for general informational purposes only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine. Decisions related to your sleep, restless legs, and your iron levels should be done under medical supervision only. And again, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.